You've probably gone through a lot of YouTube channels and realized that most people have YouTube headers and you're probably wondering, well, how can I make one? Well, this is the perfect video for you. How to make a beautiful channel header. First thing, you have to go to your app store. This can also be Google Play, so for iPhones, Androids, anything, and type in Canva. When you find Canva on your app store, you're going to download it. I'm just going to update it because I already have the app on my phone. Once it's downloaded, open it. Then you'll have to register a profile. Don't stress, it's free. Once you're on there, you'll see all of these different things. You can use the search bar if you want, or you can just scroll and look on the side for what each section is for. So for this one, we're going to be looking at the YouTube channel art. That's what they call headers. Once you've found that, click on select all, or see all rather, and you'll see all of the different templates. And then you must browse and pick one that you like. Don't be too stressed if you can't find one. Just pick something that is close to what you want. You can always edit and remove images and add your own. So I'm going to go with this one, Beauty with Lee. Okay, let's pretend I'm a beauty YouTuber, beauty vlogger, whatever you call it. So to edit the writing, you click on whatever writing is on there and then you just populate it with your own words. And then I'm going to do the same thing here at the bottom and I'll just tell people what my channel is about, beauty, lifestyle, vlogging. Whatever you want to do, just write it there so people get an idea of what your channel is about. If you don't like the font that you're using, go click down there where it says Laura. And then once you've clicked Laura, um, a lot of other fonts will come up. So then you can just scroll and, and select what you want to see and see how it looks. And once you've found the one that you like, then just go with it. I'm probably gonna go with one of these i usually like these i'm very basic just in case you hadn't noticed cool and then i want my font to be a bit bigger so you're gonna hold on to that box and you see how those four arrows show up you can resize it using that right now i'm changing the color i don't know if you guys saw that um but i'll redo it again so you click on whatever you want to change and then you go to that rainbow and then you get a sliding scale and you can pick the colors you want. If you don't want to do this, you can just scroll down and see the basic colors that the app comes with. But I prefer playing around with this because then I can get many shades of a color that's like almost the same. So I'm going with an orangey yellow vibe. I didn't like the pink, surprisingly enough. I'm very girly, but not for this. Okay, cool repeated this process quite a number of times so you can just rewind if you've missed anything now at the bottom you can see you can add text images illustrations logos or whatever you want guys play around with this the more you play the more familiar you get you can add on these clip arts see if they're free you can use them and if they've got a little crown on them it means you have to pay for them i don't like paying for stuff so i don't use it so if you want to add more text, you can um, use that add text. And for this, I just want the wild writing. You see, I like how that wild came out. I'll put subscribe so that my people know to subscribe. But I'm not really interested in the rest of the writing. You see that sale and up to 50% off, I don't want it. So you click on it and you delete the element, not the group, just the element that you've selected. Cool, and now you've got the subscribe and you can play around so you can resize it and make it look pretty and change its color if you want. I don't know if you guys saw how I increased. I grabbed on the, on the white circles and I pulled along. But you'll see guys, it's very intuitive once you're there and it's very um, user friendly. And I think I am done. Oh wait, let me just change the color. I didn't like the black. I think I'm probably gonna go with the brown because the white doesn't look too good either. Um, yeah.
And then once you're done, you can just press done at the corner up there. And then download is that arrow that is pointing down. And now it's preparing your design and it's downloading. Once your header has downloaded, you'll find it in your gallery. I'll just show you quickly. It's there. Can you see it? Cool. Oh, I forgot to show you how to change the picture. So just click, tap on whatever picture is already there and then just replace it with whatever is in your camera roll. So I'm just going to go with this. Um, yeah. And guys, I think my header is fine. You know, you can play around with it some more. It's all up to you. Cool. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.